Hi, I'm Monday Jones, and welcome to my bed. I'm here to read to you my uh, an entry from my blog series, A Dating Mistress. Today, I'm reading you number, my blog entry number, oh shit. I think I just lost it on the computer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I am reading you number one, two, three, four, number five, number five, a dating mistress. So now my blog turns into a vlog. However, I will down below in the description, put a link to the blog for you so that you can um, go to it yourself and visit the photos that I put up onto my blog. I um, work as an adult model and actress. So in, in each blog, I put up a series of photos that I, that I, series of photos that photographers and I do over, over the years. So you can, for that, and I also put in links to certain things, just a disclaimer, I am a professional and lifestyle mistress. I am not suitable for anybody under the age of 18, nor am I suitable for work. Okay, so keep that in mind. Alrighty, so this is A Dating Mistress, A Midsummer's Night's Dream, 2019. I've always been a mistress, but now it's time for me to take the leading role. The weather in the Pacific Northwest has been interesting to say the least, this summer. The rainy overcast days at 68 degrees with a dramatic twist 30 hours later to a steaming hot, uh, to a steamy heat of 94 with no cloud in the sky. It, tru it truly reminds me of the months I spent in Australia, pretty similar to Melbourne's weather. I recall having to prepare for all four seasons when leaving the house. You just never knew when the cold south winds would collide with the hot north wind. I connect well with the weather and earth energy. It definitely plays a role in my well-being. This summer I've noticed fewer wildflowers on the trails I run. There's lack of running running water through the lands through the land lands I foot tra foot journey trash along the along the roadways where I run bees dying every place my feet leap I know I'm not alone in seasonal affective disorder sad is the abbreviation but it's but it usually only affects me during the winter months not the summer This weather messes with my head and my sleep. It sometimes fucks with my emotional state where I end up acting them out in lucid dreams. Lately, my dreams are filled with visits from past lovers, friends, and family members. Multiple visions of the, world's, of the world ending and a few moments of hero, heroism. My dreams are giving me a safe place to process, heal, and a few moments, my dreams are giving me a safe place to process, heal, and try on new ideas. Some of my dreams show me fantasies that might have room to manifest into reality. Lately, I've been daydreaming of the combination of running and raising awareness around worldly causes like water, birds, the bees, healthcare, sex work, etc. It that I deeply believe in. Possibly running across the country or staying close to home with a mild mile challenge. Who knows? I would say there's a fine line. Ooh, 
fine line between fiction and non-fiction in regards to my lifestyle. I can definitely identify when fiction is fiction or when fantasy is fantasy and when reality is real. I'm also really good at creating fantasy. I've been facilitating it as a professional my whole adult life through acting, modeling, and as a mistress, and now as a mistress. I feel like I'm pretty good at this fantasy thing. I've been processing the idea of fantasy and examining the fantasies in my own life. A huge thing, okay. I've been processing the idea of fantasy and examining fantasy in my own life. A huge thing I realized, I am my client's fantasy and what they don't know is they are my reality. This feels like a smack in the face and I desire to change it. I am the real thing and my niche is being me. So I want to offer the real thing. With this emphasis comes a new perspective and opportunity for growth. The biggest shift, my approach to the professional side of being a mistress. I'm more fixated on making the connection than landing the ultimate monthly allowance. I've redesigned myself and my website, of course, still smoothing out the bumps. It's as if I return to my roots. That tender age of 18 when my lifestyle really began for me with my first husband. I lived this 24-7. I lived this 24-7 and I have no expecta expectations of changing anytime soon. <laughs> so instead of remaining my client's fantasy, maybe I can become their reality. Um, I ended it there. <laughs> Th that was it. That was a very short blog. Anyways, till the next time you are invited into my bed, um, I will read you number six. Until then. <laughs>